Hello everyone and welcome back to the blog. Um, so I do realise it's been a while since I recorded and that was just because it has been absolutely crazy this term. Um, I'm just about keeping up my written blog so the thought of recording and then having to edit has not really been that pleasant to think about. So today we had a bit of an early day. I decided to come home because I'm in a bit of pain at the moment but I thought it's not that bad that I can't record and edit, so here we are. Um, I kind of wanted to follow, do like a bit of a roundup of year one and follow on till next year, relating to some of the videos that I did last year. And um, the video I wanted to record today is looking at how the first year of my medical degree has affected uh, Asperger's, or rather how has Asperger's affected my medical degree. Okay, so. I'm gonna kind of split this video into three and three categories of academic. So looking at how I've worked and how I've like studied over the past year. Medicine, because medicine is a completely bonkers degree and you can't really compare it to normal degrees as such. Um, and then social, because obviously that's a massive part of being on the autistic spectrum. So, I suppose let's begin with academic. In the majority of it, I've quite enjoyed it. We were talking about um, with the definition of work in SSC one the other day, and someone said about how in their previous degree they were happy, but it was a lot more chilled, there was very little kind of, there wasn't as much contact time, but they didn't feel kind of fulfilled. But coming into medicine where you are working these ridiculously long hours, suddenly they're a lot happier and a lot more fulfilled and I think that hit the nail on the head for me. I have been ridiculously busy and I feel like I've had work coming at left, le me left, right and centre but I've been happy to do that and I've been, like my brain has just enjoyed it a bit so for me the intensity and the speed of which everything's coming was probably good. However that didn't mean that I didn't struggle. I did really put a lot of pressure on me and there was a lot of stress because when we came into our medical degree we heard a lot about what had happened the year before us with regards to their exam and it freaked a lot of people out so I walked in on the first day thinking I'm gonna fail my first year exam. So as you can tell towards the end I was a little bit of a mess um, and I think a lot of that came from me not being able to logic things out and sit there and be reasonable because the, the entire thought that was consuming me was I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail, I'm not good enough for this, I'm not good enough for this. Another kind of factor that influences this is the fact that I didn't give myself a proper work-life balance. For me, time studying was time wasted in my opinion and I really struggled to hit that balance because I just used to feel guilty if I took even half a day off to go shopping. I thought it was a wasted day and this was stuff that I actually needed to do to like eat. Um, so as a result, I was often buying um, food from the campus shop which is expensive and this wasn't this was sometimes just a piece so I could shove in the oven while I had a shower at 11 o'clock at night and it wasn't good and I kind of wound myself down into a rabbit hole because I just couldn't step back and take the time to go okay right something's going wrong here let's sort it out. However the good part about this is that in the first year you have a pretty solid timetable. I think also a big thing for me to get over was stopping comparing myself to others because I put a lot of pressure on myself to be kind of at the top of the academic ladder but I think here it's just it's just not going to happen and you know what I'm okay with that it's not happened since GTSE and as long as I'm passing as long as I'm going to be minimally competent I'm happy so yeah that's pretty much how my academics went. Medicine as a degree itself it was fine and I was panicking at the beginning because I thought that I would be useless in my OSCEs which are practical exams that you take. I thought that I would never make eye contact, that I'll be too nervous to do anything but once you know kind of the sequence it almost becomes an acting job which if I didn't go into medicine and acting was a bit more of a stable career that was probably the path I would have followed. But you literally you learn a script and you learn your stage directions and the rest kind of falls into place. I actually had a conversation with my head of clinical skills at the beginning of the term. He was just like, it's going to be fine. Didn't quite believe him, but every single feedback that I've got from sim patients, which are actors, or even real patients has been really good. And in my, fi in my final exams, Oskis, I actually didn't get 
any kind of negative points for my communication skills. They said I was really empathetic and this has been reflected again this year so I'm really happy with that. I've never had a negative point about eye contact and I think it is because you do go into this kind of acting mode. So I've really enjoyed it and especially this year when we've started thinking about clinical scenarios and everything I know this is definitely what I want to do. Okay, so finally, social life. Um, not that I had much of one, but it was hard. So although everyone in my year group is lovely and I get on with most people, for me, being able to keep up that social kind of construct every day, especially in like the first couple of weeks and then being able to keep up with it, being able to keep up the amount of work, I was exhausted by the end of the day. And when we had CBL at the end of the day, I was getting so snappy <laughs> and I just didn't want to be in CBL. I'd like go quiet and not say anything, which isn't really productive in CBL, but it was exhausting. But after a while I began to adapt and it didn't really affect me anymore. So I suppose that's good. My social group only came in because I started revising with these people and I realised I really got on with them and I loved them to bits and I still do and they've become my best friends now so that's kind of where I fitted in and it's also taken me a while to realise how I work with regards to other people so I have a group of friends and I love them to bits and even like people I've started talking to this year I really have enjoyed widening my circle but I do need that time to kind of step away and be by myself which I suppose living on my own does give me that opportunity this year. I realise that I'm not someone who likes to tag around with someone constantly and I do like to be my own free spirit so though sometimes it can be a bit sad when you kind of sat on your own you don't really know where to go for lunch I do appreciate it but those moments are kind of n less than the moments where I'm grateful that I've got my own little freedom bubble so pretty much yeah um so that's probably an accurate roundup about first year it's it was hard and there were challenges particularly mental health wise around exams I had to put in mitigating circumstances for my examinations my favorite quote from last year was if you weren't a medical student you'd be on the watch list and I was like thank you for that <laughs> um, so it's not all been plain sailing and I'm not going to tell you it's all hunky-dory because you do struggle and it does take you longer to pick up on how to interact and how to develop certain social skills but in the grand scheme of things I don't think it's held me back at all and I love the fact that I am just that a little bit quirky and that I own every single quirky shirt I can get my hands on and I love the fact that I don't mind volunteering things in clinical skills and uh, in communication skills because I think it's a really good opportunity to practice. So I think in the end it's just learning to like the person that you're turning out to be. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope it's been useful to you guys out there who are worried about coming into medical school on the autistic spectrum. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please go and check out my WordPress blog because that has every single week of medical school written down, bar a couple. Um, I also run the majority of this blog through Instagram, so please go and check out that. Uh, look out for my next video. Thank you very much.